show you how you can create, publish, and sell an ebook on Amazon in less than 10 minutes. Selling an ebook on Amazon is so quick and so easy that if you are someone who is in a small business, who is a writer, who is a content creator, I highly recommend that you start creating these streams of passive income through repurposing your content into ebooks. There's gonna be two different camps that you fall into if you are watching this video. Number one is that you are an author who is writing a full book. Number two is that you are not an author, but you are some sort of small business, an entrepreneur, a creative, content creator, etc. Obviously, the first thing if you are publishing an ebook will be to decipher the type of content that is going to go into your book. Now, if you're an author and you're already creating or writing a book, then obviously you'll use that content. If you're someone that has not written a book yet, you might not realize that you can repurpose a lot of the content that you have already created into an ebook and sell it for passive income with the work that you have mostly already done. Now, whether or not you're an author and you're writing a full ebook, or if you are trying to repurpose content that you already made, such as a video or a blog post, you're gonna use the same tool to format it quickly, easily, and professionally. The tool is called Designer with two R's at the end. Now, this is not a free tool. It is a paid tool that you have to purchase, but I feel like it saves so much time that it more than pays for itself. Now, once you have created an account on Designer, you are going to choose how you are going to import the content of your ebook. First, I'm gonna show you how to import it from a link on an article that I had already created. Simply paste the link of the blog post or wherever your content is right here, and Designer is going to go ahead and transfer all of that text automatically. Next, we're going to select the template for the style of ebook that we want to create. So you can see they have a, a wide variety of different types of templates available here. You can click preview to see what it will look like, and then once you have made your decision, you're going to go ahead and select that template. Template. This is going to automatically populate the content from the link that you imported into the publication here. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of things that I might need to go in and tweak, rearrange, or edit so that it makes sense in an ebook format or so that it looks how it, I want it to look. So now I'm going to begin the customization process. There's a variety of different types of pages over here on the left, and you can simply drag and drop the content or the page into the ebook, and it will go ahead and populate that for you, or you can manually add or remove elements. As you can see, it automatically sectioned out the content of the document that I inputted here into various different sections. So there's not a lot of work that I have to do. Next, let's try importing the almost exact same content only in YouTube video form. So I'm gonna grab the link of the video directly from YouTube and I'm going to click YouTube video importer here. I'm going to input the link and we're gonna see how it does. As you can see, it once again sectioned everything out and there is actually very little that I need to change. Links are automatically input here, although I'm not quite sure how it did that, it definitely was very accurate. Next, I'm going to customize the cover. I'm going to click on the element that I would like to change. Scrolling down, I'm going to click on the change image feature here, and I can either upload my own photos or I can select and search from their bank of stock photos here. Next, I'm going to just update the text on the cover. I'm going to click directly on the element that I would like to change, change that text, and then over to the left-hand side, all of the controls, such as the orientation of the text, the size of the text, the font, and more. Now that I'm all done customizing, I'm going to click that I want to publish this, and I'm going to export it as a Kindle e-publication. This is then going to give me these two download options, and I wanna make sure that I download both. Number one, I'm going to download the actual manuscript that is all ready to be loaded into Kindle, and number two, I'm going to download the cover image, which is also going to be loaded into Kindle as the thumbnail. Next, I'm going to go over and create a Kindle Direct Publishing account with KDP. I'm going to click the Create button, and then I'm going to click on Kindle eBook. Next, I'm going to input the various information that I would like included about my book, such as the language, the book title, and the subtitle. 
Next, if you are adding this ebook to a series of ebooks and you would like them to all be linked together, encouraging more sales from your repeat customers, then you can enter in the series information here. Next, enter in the author information and any additional contributors to your book. Next will be your description of your ebook, making sure that you keep your target reader in mind and include lots of keyword type phrases in your detailed description. Next, you'll need to select your publishing rights. Next, enter in your keywords. KDP allows you to enter up to seven search keywords that describe your book. So keep in mind what your target readers may be searching for directly on Amazon, and you can enter those in here. Next, you're going to set two categories for your book to appear in. Because there are fewer books in more specific categories as opposed to generalized categories such as general nonfiction, then you will want to make sure that you are selecting as specific as possible so that you are shown more frequently. Next, you're going to be uploading your manuscript, which is that document that you downloaded from Designer. Click the yellow upload button, select the file, and then it's going to be loaded right here. Next, you're going to upload your cover file. Lastly is the ISBN. KDP will automatically generate for you a free ISBN, an identifying number for your book. However, that means that you do not own the rights to that ISBN number, but rather KDP owns the rights. If you intend to sell elsewhere on other platforms, then you will want to purchase your own ISBN on Bowker.com. However, if you are intending to sell only on Amazon, only on KDP, then you can use the free option here. Next, we are able to launch this in the previewer and it will show us exactly what it will look like as an ebook. Next, we're going to click on save and continue. This is going to prepare the files that you just uploaded and then it's going to take you over to set your pricing. If you want to enroll in KDP Select, then they will promote your ebook more and you will be able to give a free download for an introductory period as a promotion. But enrolling in KDP Select means that you give them exclusive rights to this publication and you will not be providing it anywhere else. Then input the sales price that you would like to have this sell for on Amazon and it will automatically calculate your royalty amount. And your royalty is the amount of earnings that you will receive each time the ebook is purchased. Next, click publish and then you are all done. Okay, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you will be doing this or if you already are selling ebooks and perhaps this is just a more efficient tool.